Hi there everybody, in this video I have this uh, Honda Jazz This is a 2005, the 1.4 petrol automatic um, I'm gonna be changing the oil and the oil filter and I'm also gonna top up some screen wash fluid um, So I'm gonna start with the screen wash fluid and that goes in this little cup here just open that we can pour the fluid in there so you can buy uh, screen wash fluid from any garage this is from Halfords you can get uh, ready mixed or concentrated and mix it yourself but I guess ready mix is easier okay that was fairly full so didn't need much in there Normally, I guess a few liters will go in and uh, well, now we can move on and concentrate on the oil and the oil filter. So in this particular model, we got the oil filling cup here. So I'm just gonna open that. I'm just gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna pull the dipstick as well. And that's just going to allow some air to come in to the system while we drain the oil from underneath. Um, so I'm doing the car, it's slightly warmed, but it's not really hot. Um, if you do it when the engine is hot, the oil will drain faster, but also you need to be careful and not burn yourself. But it's doable anyway. Uh, in this case, it's just a little bit warm. I uh, didn't really run it for too long. Um, so now I'm going to get the car up and we're going to tackle the filter and drain the uh, oil from underneath. Okay, so looking at the car from underneath, um, we have our sump sitting just there. And we have this sun plug bolt, which we need to crack open. So get yourself an oil pan to catch the oil. And uh, I've got a 17 mil there. I can just uh, go ahead and crack that open. And just remember if the engine's been running, the oil can be very hot, so don't burn yourself. And uh, while that is draining, if your uh, oil pan is big enough, you can catch, you can, uh, sorry, we can open the oil filter here as well. And uh, some oil will drip from there. So that's why if your oil pan is um, long enough then you will catch the oil from there as well without making a mess. You can use one of these to take this uh, filter out. The filter shouldn't really be on that tight, but if it is then you might struggle a little bit okay so that was on a little bit height or to be honest I think maybe uh, they didn't apply any grease to the little uh, rubber in there which then makes the rubber uh, quite dry and so this filter here is a man filter w610 slash 6 the filter I'm gonna be using is a blueprint ADH 
2114. So this one here. So there's this O-ring here that makes contact um, with the engine there. So I normally like to put a little bit of grease around there or you can even use some of the oil that you're going to be putting in the car and just uh, put it around there and uh, when we put this in it makes it easier to this will nicely fit in there the o-ring uh, will will adjust itself uh, properly rather than getting damaged or getting stuck and uh, obviously next year it will be a lot easier to remove and uh, I'm just gonna get that in there hand tight need to use any tools to tighten that up so the filter is done and the oil you can let it um, come out I don't know for five or ten minutes and then uh, you can come back to it okay that's been uh, dripping for some time now so I'm gonna get my bolt back in there the, the washer um, on this bolt, it's, it, it's actually in good condition, so that's why I'm not going to change it. But um, if you technically um, we change it every time or every service or, or so, but also at the moment I haven't got one of those. I haven't got the correct size, um, but that should be okay. It should be fine for another year. Oh, we can just uh, tighten that up. Um, usually they recommend between 14 and 22 newton meters for those bolts, which isn't a lot of force. So just clean that off. And um, that way, if you see any little drips here, then you know it's it might be coming from there um, but otherwise it's a good idea to uh, have it nice and clean because then you know there wasn't any leaks from anywhere else because this uh, engine is fairly it's fairly clean at the moment and it doesn't have any leaks um, now we've done that, I'm gonna lower the car and we can top up some oil. Okay, so now we're ready to top up some oil. Um, the manual shows you a little chart here um, of the oils that you can choose according to the ambient uh, temperature. Um, and obviously they have some recommendations. Um, like um, I'm gonna be using 5W30 because it covers a fairly good range of temperatures 5W30, 5W40 10W30, 10W40 goes a little bit more towards uh, a hot, hotter climate um, but 5W30 5, or even these ones up here cover quite a big range uh, between minus 30 and 40 so um, I normally use 5W30 and that's the one I'm gonna be using now um, the manual also tells you the capacity 
so engine oil including the filter 3.6 liters and without the filter 3.4 liters so always uh, check your manual make sure you put in the right amount to your vehicle um, I, I changed the filter so I'm gonna be putting 3.6 liters um, and now um, that's what we're going to do the oil goes in here okay I've got uh, 3.6 in there Now we um, can have a quick look at the dipstick, just uh, gonna clean that up. The dipstick has uh, two dots here, this, uh, so this one here will be the minimum and this one will be the maximum. So I'm, we're just gonna check it now and it might be just a little bit above the max there, it might be up to here because after you run the engine some of the oil will go into the oil filter housing and then it should go down to the max okay so as you can see the oil is actually is up here actually just up here which is uh, expected So as we run the engine, some 200, 300 mils will go into the filter um, and then it will stay there. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, don't forget to subscribe and um, thank you for watching.